Hey guys, what's up? Um, tonight I wanted to take this time to uh, show you guys a really quick and easy and delicious and nutritious recipe. Uh, it's a grilled chicken with apples and honey. Um, it takes about 45 minutes, so it takes a little bit of time, but it's pretty quick and it's delicious. I promise you it's really good. In fact, I don't even have any to show you because I, I ate it at all, so I'm going to have to show you pictures. Um, first thing also I want to tell you is that you're going to see in the video that I marinated the chicken. Um, I actually did that for about 24 hours, and I marinated it in actual applesauce, or apple, sorry, apple juice. So uh, just know that. You don't have to do that. You can just do chicken breast straight out of the package, but I decided that I was going to marinate it for 24 hours. All right, so without further ado, here we go. Alright guys, so here you see the chicken that I have had marinating for 24 hours in the apple juice. Um, like I said, you don't have to do that, but it makes your chicken really tender uh, and really good for this for this meal. Um, Alright, next you want to get yourself a mixing bowl like this one here. Um, and in this mixing bowl, first you want to put a fourth of a cup of low sodium chicken broth. Put that right in there like that. Next you want to get yourself one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Try not to spill all over the counter like you see me doing here because that's just a waste of delicious mustard. Uh, and put that right inside there with the, uh, with the broth. Next, you want to get yourself uh, two teaspoons of raw honey. Uh, you can buy the honey at the store, no big deal. Although it'd probably be pretty good with real bee honey. I might try that next time. Anyways, two teaspoons right in there like that. And then finally in this bowl, you want to put just a dash of sea salt. About that much is good. Right in there like that. Get my mustard out of the way. And then you just want to whisk this. You want to whisk this and get it good and mixed up. Just get it all until it's all mixed up good. You can see there it's all combined. It's all one thing. It smells really good here too. But yeah, just, wouldn't, just like a juice. It's really good and easy. And then set this aside for now. All right, next, get yourself a little plate or a bowl or anything and put one uh, teaspoon of olive oil. Put it right there on the plate. And then I'm going to take this plate and kind of roll it around so the oil goes all over the plate. Like that. You want to take your chicken breasts and you want to cut them in half so that you uh, have smaller chunks. And then you want to take these chicken breasts and you want to just kind of rub them all over the olive oil. Get yourself a nice coating. Don't go too crazy. Just get yourself a nice coating of olive oil all over all the chicken breasts. Um, you're gonna, you can use as many as you want. I have three chicken breasts here and I uh, cut them all in half for six pieces. So, And then at this point I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to put it on the grill. Just make sure that the chicken grills up normally. Okay, next you're going to need uh, half of a medium onion and two Granny Smith apples. Chop those up. Bam, bam, bam. And boom, look at there. We have chopped apples and uh, one half of a medium onion. Do a thin, do a thin sliced. You want to have those very thin sliced. You want to get the, the skin off the apples as well. Um, and then you want to get yourself a frying pan. Put yourself in uh, three teaspoons of the olive oil. And you want to do this on just over medium, about medium high heat. Um, get that oil around in there like that. And then in this pan, you're going to add the apples and onions right in there like that. Like I said, all this is on the medium high heat. Then you just mix this up a little bit, just for a second, get everything kind of spread around in there, and mixed up a little bit so the onions and apples are all kind of together. And then you want to add your Dijon honey mixture right to this. Right in there like that. Now you're going to let this cook um, at the medium high heat for about eight to ten minutes you want the apples to be really nice and soft and tender and then you want the sauce that's inside of there with it to form into a sauce consistency you don't want it to be liquid like you see here you want it to look more like this when it's done so you see all the tender apples and you see the juice is now a sauce form then you go ahead and get your chicken off the grill whenever that's ready to go and that's what that looks like looks delicious there's your apples that are all done chicken again chicken is so good 
with the apple apple juice. Oh, it's so good. And there it is on the plate. You just want to serve the apples on top of your chicken breast. I made up some noodles to go with it. And uh, there you have it, a delicious chicken meal. And here's the uh, nutritional information about it. And this is per serving. Uh, so this chicken here has 278 calories, uh, 8 grams of fat, uh, 294 milligrams of sodium, uh, 20 grams of sugar, and 25 grams of protein. It's very delicious. Oh man, when I tell you that this chicken is so good, I, I'm telling you the truth. I, like I said, I don't have any to show you because me and my wife ate it all. Uh, I actually ate some for lunch today. It's so good and so easy. Um, so I'll see you guys next time um, with some more tips, some more recipes, and uh, helping you guys lose weight. See you later.